Well, how's things? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to have a look at the brakes in the tractor. Uh, they're gone a bit soft, and I noticed there isn't a stitch of brake fluid in it, so I'm hoping it's that. So I'm going to see if I can get that going. Um, might do a bit of topping here in one of the paddocks. Uh, it's going to stem a small bit there. The sheep don't seem too interested in eating it, so I might top that out. And a bit of a mishap with the, one of the colios. Um, not really in a bad way, but I'll show you that as well. So, thanks for watching. I'll get into it here now. So this is the, of the panel held up there with an old uh, earth for a battery fencer. Great job. Um, this is the reservoir for the, the brake fluid, as far as I know. And there's not a stitch in it. And I noticed just when I was hooking on... Um, I was hooking on the, I think it was the log splitter. The brakes have gone serious soft and it was hard to line it up properly, so I said I'd take a look at it. Um, what is it? Oh, just fair perish that, I'd say it's leaking. There's a crack on the side of it. Anyways, it says here to use a vegetable oil. Um, I couldn't actually get a vegetable oil, but I got this synthetic oil instead. And I looked on a few um, websites and it says this should work the finest in it. Synthetic oil. Or synthetic fluid, sorry. So I just got a. I'm hardly be able to work that. Uh, I think it was five litres and I'll hardly be able to work it. I'll get something small to see if I can just fill it up and um, I'll go on from there. I think that's up to it. Or is it? Jeez, I don't know, it's not. Next thing now is um I have to bleed out a bit. There's definitely air in it when it was so empty the reservoir. So I have to bleed both the both the back wheels here bleed. There's a should be each side a bleed screw or something like that. And I'll press the brakes down then. And um, ideally, I suppose I should have two people, sure, I'll see how I get on in it. So, where is it at all? That line there. You can see it. That cable there. Just because I know the cab. Um, where's my light? Under the tractor, of course. Because under the cab there, and we're going into the back in here, I'm going to just have to get down underneath it. That cable there with the light directly shining on it comes through the cab there, down and into here. Ignore the old grass or hay, whatever that is. And goes into this must be the cylinder here. And that chappy there is the bleed screw. So I'm going to loosen that and um, let's see how we get on. Oh. It is a little level. The drop of um, the drop in it, so I'm going to just leave it kind of loose, press the brake, and if I need to refill the reservoir, I'll do it. It's looking like I'm going to have to replace the. I don't know if I can get it. It's probably empty now again. Oh, there. It's. Can you make that out? She's just not sealing right. 
Unfortunately, that didn't work. The little reservoir is pissing the brake fluid out of the bottom of it, so I'm so gonna have to get a new one of those. Until then, I've got three brakes. Um, well, stop me from topping, but it disappointed you because I looked up the price and you're looking at 100 euro for a little plastic bottle there. Um, but, anyways, that's the way these things go, especially with older machines. Anyways, we're going to get into topping. what I'm um, trying to top out with. It's vernal, sweet vernal grass. That's what's created. You see all the stems there. I just want to cut them out of it because it's nice leaky grass on the So that's what I'm doing. It's like they've gotten sick of me going around the field now in the tractor so they're tipping off there now. A lamb here, I'd say something caught in his claw is hobbling, so I just want to bring him into the yard and then see what's the story. That's in there, no? Just a little hobble on him. No, that's the reason for his hobbling. He just bit a muck there in his claw and I took it off and there's blood underneath it. So it's his scald. So um, I cut them back a small bit. Some growth in them. Okay. No, I'm going to let them off again. There's no need to keep them now. That's it now. There's no more of them. Lame so. They have to give them back to the paddock. Now my father's asked me to tidy up the hedge here at the road in the front paddock so um, I'm out here with the tractor and I brought the hedge um, clipper with me and um, i see if I can cut it back and tidy it up from. So we'll get into that there now. No, this is the chap we're using. That's it, nope. 